Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to install Mongoose OS on ESP32 development module and provision it with AWS IoT. First, take a hardware module. Uh, I'm going to use this ESP32 dev kit from Espresso and connect it to my laptop via the USB cable. Second, visit mongooseos.com, the downloads page, and follow the instructions to download and install MOS management utility, MOS tool. So um, the um, MOS tool has many commands to build, flash, configure the device, but uh, now I'm going to, to use uh, MOS without any arguments, which will start a, a simple UI wizard. And I'll just follow the steps. So it automatically detects the serial port my ESP is connected to. So I click Next, um, then choose the firmware. I'm going to choose ESP32 firmware. Click Next to Flash. So now it's flashed, asking for the Wi-Fi network. I'm entering uh, my uh, network details, Wi-Fi and password. Click next to setup. And you can see that the ESP32 module, uh, it starts to blink. So it, it, it flashes the default firmware, uh, a JavaScript enabled firmware with a blink example. So now we go to the cloud connection uh, setup. Let's choose AWS IoT here. So, um, and I use uh, U West 1 zone, and uh, I have a, a policy already created, test 2, which is a permissive IoT policy. You can choose MOS default policy. It will create uh, a, a policy for you. So I'm choosing test 2, click next, and that is going to configure the device for AWS IoT, so it's going to uh, uh, download and uh, upload, the, upload the certificates to ESP32 and set up the MQTT. Uh, MQTT. So, so the ESP32 is uh, now connected to AWS uh, and we can start uh, prototyping. So this, uh, this screen shows a, a simple UI for uh, displaying the files that are on the uh, on the ESP32 board. So the main file here is init.js. This file uh, gets executed by the firmware. And right now it shows a simple blink uh, message. So we can, for example, go and change uh, change the text. So some uh, uh, like make, make changes to this, this example. Save and reboot button will uh, reboot the firmware so we can see the, the uh, serial logs here and we can see that the message uh, is changed. Uh, also we can see that the, uh, that the device is connected to MQTT, uh, to Amazon MQTT, um, and subscribe to a specific channel. So this channel is used for the remote management of this ESP32 board. Now if we click to the code examples tab uh, there are some uh, uh, some examples that we have pre-built uh, to uh, to show the power and simplicity of Mongoose OS. So uh, you can navigate them to see what they do. Uh, they are on the uh, on the GitHub repository, just automatically pulled by this tool. So uh, let's choose button MQTT example. So what that example does, it goes and uh, 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 connects to the uh, configured MQTT server, and on a button press, it uh, it sends the uh, the following message to the MQTT server. It sends the amount of total RAM and the current free RAM value to this MQTT topic. So let's sh let's use this example. Let's see how it works. So click click this button to copy this file over to init.js. So now if we go back to and, and open init.js, we can see exactly this file. We can, for example, change this topic to, say, uh, topic 2, uh, save and reboot. So now uh, this module goes to, uh, connects to uh, 
WSIOT uh, subscri- and, 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 and publishes on a button press on, uh, on, on topic, uh, topic two. So I can try and press a flash button. So I can see that there are logs saying the, uh, like topic two, message free RAM and so on. We can verify that on Amazon IoT, go to this console, enter topic two, subscribe. And now if we click the button again, so we can see that the message messages appear. Um, we can also go and uh, add some more things to this, like key one, like one, two, three, four, save and reboot. And now wait until uh, we connect it to MPTT. Okay, we are there. And now switch to the MPTT console, press again, and we can see that the new new messages appear. So basically, that shows how easy and fast uh, you can start uh, developing. Uh, on uh, Mongoose OS. Uh, I used ESP32 in my example, but uh, the same way Mongoose OS works on other hardware platforms that we support, for example, ESP8266, uh, STM32, Nuclear and Discovery Boards, and uh, TICC2200. So, hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.